hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to filter or find the data between two dates so we are going to find all your records between some dates okay so let us design one form to fetch that dates and then filter your records so let's get started with it okay so i'm using bootstrap 5 to design this so let's get started with form design so first form and then over here you are going to give the method is equal to where get and over here let me just divide with this row columns of your bootstrap column md6 dot form group where inside this group i am going to type the label label let's remove this we do not require label where from date and one input box which will be date and name we will give from from underscore date and the class form hyphen control done so let's make this as four we don't require six over there let's copy and paste 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 so let me make this to two date and change this name attribute value to date and then for this click to filter let's add a br tag and let's remove this and create a button so over here you will tell filter not filter filter let's type this submit and design this class primary so let's save and check the output guys let's get back refresh you can see the output so guys when we click on this date and select here the date and when we click on filter the url changes. so let's see you can see that from date has some date value and to date has some date value so according to this url parameters we are going to filter let's get back to code and start the code about it Okay, so I, this is my card starts over here and card ends. And let's design that card where I want to filter all the data. Let's give card body where inside this I'm going to start the code PHP open and PHP close. So let's give first database connection dollar connection where mysqli underscore connect function where you are going to give your connection so that is localhost and then username password is null and then your database name so my database name is nothing but php tutorials so let me copy and paste over here and now guys we need to check that button is i mean data is there or not so you can follow that condition with is set function let's type is set function where inside this dollar underscore get and now over here what you're going to check the name from date so let's cop copy that and paste here and now let's give and function inside this i mean and operator and then check the same thing so let's copy this and paste it again so if it is set let's copy this to date and paste here so if it's set then you have to show the output from here let's type dollar from underscore date is equal to where you are going to use get method to get the url parameter so which parameter you are asking knowing about this from date let's copy that same values it is okay so not to worry about that so let me copy and paste and let's copy this to date paste here and make this variable also to date and let's echo and see that value is coming or not perfectly let's get back refresh you can see that date value is coming perfectly so let me just make it some gap over here margin top four and now guys let us filter this data so first you need to uh, database connection is created now let's write the query for it so dollar query is equal to where you will write select star from your table name my table name is nothing but the user so my table name is user paste where 
you are going to use condition and what you are going to filter that so my filter option will be created at so let's copy this and paste over here created underscore at small then you are going to use between function between this date to this date so you can give this date and this date inside this we are going to follow so one column we are going to pass two dates that is nothing but your from date and then your to date to date and then run this above statement so let's query run where is equal to my sql i underscore query function where you are going to give your database connection first so let's copy that and give the connection and then your run this above query copy and paste now so after successfully filters you need to show that so first let us check the record exist or not inside this so you can check with the mysql number of rows function rows function over here you are going to select this copy and paste over here where it is greater than zero then you have to show the output else you can tell no record found echo no record found as simple save this and let's view that okay so you can see no record found because you didn't filter anything else so let us filter first let's type that for each loop where you are going to call your dollar query paste as dollar row so this row of item you are going to echo over here so let me just echo it mm, direct row of what column i am going to echo is nothing but the first name f-i-r-s-t first name first name and let's see the output come here filter right now at this date we don't have any record so for that sake you just need to check over here you can see on this second month on the first date we have two records over here so let's fetch that so from the first february to we'll check with the fifth february let's filter you can get all this data ved om vijay ram okay so you can get this four details which is from the 3rd february so let's get back and now let us just design this in a table format okay so let me just paste guys i have already done that so i'll just show in your structure wise let's paste here done so this is my simple table guys i have designed it so i want to this records to be fetched inside this table so you just need to work from the table body so let's cut this control x and paste that where php ends and now this code where your for each loop is looping over here you are going to paste that so let me just comment this and divide the php php close php open and over here your table row data will come off let's take that value and paste as simple let's align with it and now over here what you have echoed that only i'm going to echo over here let's give shortcut so we'll use shortcut php open is equal to where directly dollar row of name and first is id so let's give id let's load this so i'm going to take first name and then last name so let's save and check the output guys let's remove this we don't require as simple you can see that i have started this table head body and then inside this body all the codes run where this in the for each loop i have just left that and the body ends over here done so let's see the output guys for it let's refresh you can see all the output so where id first name and last name of your table is fetched so i have fetched only these two records three records of the column and let's filter guys so i want to filter on the only first date so second month first date and let's give two so one to two date filter 
you can see that first two records have come so but i wanted this value to be selected in this only so you can just solve it that over here let's give value is equal to where php open php close and inside this if condition where is set function you can use dollar underscore get where you are going to call this same name field and check that if it is set then you have to echo what will you echo echo the dollar get data of your from date copy and paste give semicolon that's it let me just show you output refresh cool so you can check will like this so for the second option also we'll paste it let's copy this value and paste over here for this also over here let's change this from date to to date save and view the output cool so now you can just let us go with the third from first to i want to check till sixth date so let's filter you can get the record so let me just filter with another data with four date filter cool so this is how we fetch all the data between two dates so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share